Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot, please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me and keep in mind that readings are 40% off, so take advantage of that. Um, go over to the website, use code 40 off at checkout. So let's jump into this. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. So it looks like we got end of era, all this red, passion, fire. You still got some feelings, some desire, some un untouched, uncharted space in regards to how you fit. This is reservation. You still got some reservation about this relationship or this connection or this ending. You need to take time to grieve a loss. Yeah, you know, that could be a loss of life. This could be a loss of a relationship. Something is trans, like is uh, transitioning. So you need to. This is when an ending and a new beginning are so close to one another. They're touching one another. This is a time for you to take time for yourself. This is self care at its best, at its finest. This is like withdrawing. This is saying no to all these extra activities, extracurricular activities, because you need time to heal. You might even need to talk to a counselor or get in a support group. You need to make plans for what you wish to do next. Because if you don't have plan, you know the saying, you know, if you don't plan, you plan to fail. No plan is, an, is, is a plan to a failure, you know? So, if you jump out of one relationship, you don't have a plan of healing or what I'm going to do next, then you can jump back into something all of a sudden. It could just be like a whirlwind. You need to take time to grieve, heal and prepare for the next era, the next chapter. We have eras in our life. Something is over. It's done or it's where the universe is saying we want you to allow this to be done. But you just keep jumping into nothingness or things without intentions. And um, it's going to lead more to maybe karma. This is also just activity, just to be engaging. This, it, it could be activity, meaningless, mindless activity, just so you don't have to work and heal on, you know, work on self and heal. That's for you. It's for somebody around you. Um, let's see what's going on for you. For the moon, the moon, the full moon is in Pisces. Whoa, that card flipped out. And another card that flipped out. Right, conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Something's leaving your life or it needs to leave, okay? Hurt, pain, shame, regret, remorse, sadness. It needs to leave, but you can't allow it to leave if you don't heal. It was in reverse. Have faith in your dreams. Maybe in reverse. Maybe you need to have faith in your dreams, okay? You need to put a little bit more faith into yourself. I think you just keep looking outwards or just at other things or other people to find fulfillment, joy, when it really should start with you. Joy starts at home. Charity starts at home. Love starts at home. Home is with you. You keep looking for someone to fill that void that you have. Um, you don't, you're not healing and it's almost as stubborn as a bull as an ox you just won't do it you won't let something conclude the end of think of when you're at a play the person comes out on the stage and says and that concludes act one we're not going back to act one we're going to act two it's like the universe of, and that concludes and but you're like oh no we're gonna go back run it back and it's like okay okay it's your life well yeah. it's something you won't let something go yeah forgiveness will set you free you know it, forgiveness will set you free of karma also karma is just repeating cycle or lesson forgiveness will set you free of lesson you won't have to go through the same lesson again you need to meditate you need to do some type of yoga um, doors have been slammed shut it will not reopen. I just said that. I just talked about at a play. It says it concludes act one. We're not going to go back to act one. It's time for you to get back on track. You've been off track. You need to kind of 
affirm to yourself that which is meant for you will not pass you by because it's like you keep grasping at things because you're afraid that you're not going to have you know you are a sign about having and possessions and you know material so um and things materializing for you but you're going to have to stop just stop you know stop heal take a rest take a break you, you might have to have some alone time feel the hurt feel the pain you're around people who are not healing also or who are not on a journey also therefore it's making it easy for you to escape into you know a friend group that's on the same shit they're not doing anything different you need to take some time for improving health so for something in regards to your health financial health mental emotional health to improve and once you do that you can then you know be confident enough to go out into the world and and institute make things happen you're ready for big happy changes it could come from come for you maybe a year from now but it's like within the next few weeks you need to drill down on you some of you are too focused on romance and the opportunity for romance you know you just want love let's see what the soulmate cards have to say what do we have to say for um it says, paint your dreams, sing your songs, and enjoy the dance. But it's in reverse. So it's like you're not, you're not even happy. Got a lot about dreams towards your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. This is laziness, slothfulness. This is overindulging. This is eating too much, drinking too much, just escapism. Let me just run over here and deal with this because then I won't have to deal with me. I won't have to put any time into my dream. I won't have to put any time into healing. I won't have to talk to a professional. I won't have to do any of that. I'll have this person or this thing, or I'll have that to look at and play with and, and, and um, deal with. And I can point at all of this person's shortcomings and not look at mine because I am not trying to heal. It's like some of you are stubborn. Can't make it up. All talk and no action. You're not moving. You're not in a safe place. Some something that you're in a relationship is not safe. It's not safety, you know, or you're looking for a safety net. You don't have one. Um, you're waiting just to be somebody's doormat because you'll do anything to stay in a relationship. And they're, they're leaving you out, especially if you're dating someone. So it's true is in reverse. So it's false. Whatever you're in is false because you got in it. Too, I can't make this shit up. You got in it too fast because you wanted to feel a void. You were missing something. You didn't give yourself time and anniversary to grieve, to heal, to maybe even give thanks to yourself. By Thanksgiving, you need to be by yourself because you're not giving enough self-love. I can't make it up by next week. We had in those cards. In the next few weeks, you need to just stop. You're stalking something that you really want and it's it's unfair to you. See? You're going after things that have no longevity and you're not going after what you deserve or you don't know what you're deserving of. You're just kind of stuck in the in-between. It's like with this card, end of the era, it talks about the beginning and the ending like touching each other. The end and the beginning touching each other. So something needs to end so you can have a new beginning. Something needs to conclude. You won't let it conclude. You just like going back to act one. This is, um, you know, I'm sorry, Taurus. You know, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Get your own reading like this. Readings are 40% off. Take advantage right now. Go over to the website, use code 4040 off at checkout i want to shout out to new york la chicago philadelphia atlanta houston dallas london florida i have high viewership in those places so hello and if you are business-minded individual and you want to be around other business-minded individuals who are on their path on their journey pursuing their dreams 
sign up for the KTMG monthly conference call where we go over spiritual and practical method of how to either start, maintain, or grow your business. Take advantage. And if you feel like you want to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, if you feel like you would, um, I would be a best fit uh, for maybe individual coaching, go ahead and schedule your discovery call, your complimentary discovery call, where we can talk about if I'm going to be the best fit for you, for you and if you'll be the best fit for me in regards to helping you on your journey, your business pursuits. All right. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you. Take care.